Hey YouTube, uh, this is Eric here with uh, Commodore 129 again. I'm going to show you the second part of our uh, our trailer project here. Uh, as you can see here, we got three cross pieces in there. Got all the pieces cut out and all cleaned up. Got them all polished out. And uh, just show you a quick uh, look here of how, how it's come along so far. Here you can see, getting pretty good welds out of the welder now. Now that the torch is cleaned up and working good. And uh, I got two more pieces put in here. I'll be putting the piece right about in here somewhere. And then the last piece there on the end. And then we'll be ready to put the gussets in soon. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you too is if you do any uh, welding or grinding or deburring type work, these grinders here work pretty good. These are the uh, Ingersoll Rand, uh, let's see if I can get it smart to see it, Ingersoll Rand uh, Max Series grinders. They work pretty good uh, at first. Uh, you got to break them in, of course, just like any other tool, but uh, this grinder here works uh, pretty good for uh, what I'm doing here. And uh, here's another one I used to use here at work. And this works really good for grinding. It's hard to believe that this little this little die grinder right here is almost half horse. It works real good. It's got a lot of power. It does a real good job. It's quiet. Don't scream in your ears like some of the grinders do. And uh, so if you're looking for grinders or die grinders or anything like that, I really recommend them. So... I can get a big enough picture here. Made pre pretty good amount of progress here compared to what we did uh, yesterday. I uh, got two more pieces put over here on this end here and here. And then the uh, next thing we'll be doing is uh, fitting the gussets up here. So I got a gusset here. Just put it in there like that and walled in and. I still haven't decided if I want to go with this style gusset here or if I want to cut some square tubing and use that for gussets. So, next thing we got to do is right here on this end right here, this is the front of the trailer with the X on it right here, there and there. We got to put the uh, two pieces on this side and two pieces in the back and then we got to start up with the uh, A frame part and uh, the axle hangers will be sitting right about in here and there so shouldn't be too much longer before we get it on a rolling frame we get some hangers for it here to put on it and uh, the only thing I got left to get is some springs to put on the axles so other than that, not a whole lot else to show right now, but just a little update from the last video. And yeah, you can see here. I also, I got a uh, an I beam right here. You can see it right there like that. When we built this garage, we made sure we put this I beam up there because too many times we needed to lift up something. And when I get this done, this trailer frame right now is sitting upside down. So when I get the hangers welded on and some of the gussets done, I have to flip it over and weld the other sides of the uh, cross members. So and then the other thing I got to do is get tires for it, and uh, should be good to go after that. Then then I'll drag it outside and clean it up and sand it down a little bit and clean up some of the rough spots. Kind of like uh, like right in here, kind of polish them up a little bit and see if we can zoom you in here. Kind of smooth them out a little bit, make them look nice and get some primer on and get painted up. One trick too is when you're building a trailer frame like this, you're always going to have some problems with it, with it uh, trying to bend on you. When you're welding it, it's going to shrink on one side and expand on the other. So what I did here is took some 4 by 4s and a piece of plate and weld on a piece of pipe and put a nut in the bolt on the other end so we can expand out the frame to get the pieces to fit in because as you're welding it the trailer is going to want to 
go like this around where you weld it so you have to be able to open it back up and then the other thing we did too is when you're putting together the uh, to get it square and parallel I used to just plain old tight am straps and a big bar clamp down the middle to kind of hinge it so that way the pieces can move in and out like that to get it square and then I check and then uh, to check these sides here for a square like this along this frame so that's a very simple way to do it without getting too complicated and uh, look my, like my yellow cart there I built came in pretty handy for this project so other than that I think it's going to be it for right now so take it easy and I'll keep you posted with new updates okay bye